I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will understand strategies to solve word problem. So I am calling it Pre-Algebra Series where we will introduce the concept of algebra and then solve the questions. I have taken three questions here, very interesting. We need to understand two different methods for problem solving. Also consider steps to check the solution. So, so these are some basic steps which can help you lay a very strong foundation for mathematics. The idea is to understand how do we solve the problems and how do we relate numbers in particular. Question number one here is, I am a number. Multiply me by 2, subtract 11 from the product. You end up with 23. What number am I? So very simple language. These questions are meant for our junior middle school students. And we'll actually solve them using basic steps, using algebra and backward calculations. So that is going to be very interesting. Let's see the second question. I am a number. Add 13 to me. Divide the sum by 4. You end up with 8. What number am I? Question number 3. I am a number. Subtract me from 30. Divide the difference by 6. You end up with 3. What number am I? So we are also utilizing this time to introduce to you some words which are very critical words in problem solving and in word problems like you can see in these questions right let's begin with understanding the question first so i'll take up question number one now it says i am a number so as soon as you say i am a number think about a number we don't know what this number is, so we'll write just number n, right? So I am a number, so my number is n. Multiply me by 2. That is the second statement. That means I can write twice n, right? So 2 times n means multiply me by 2. Makes sense, right? You could write n times 2, right? But 2n, like double the number, right? And then subtract 11 from the product now this is called the product right so let's understand the key words here multiply by 2 and what you get when you multiply is the product right so this is the product now it says subtract 11 from the product so that means that from the product to n i will actually subtract 11 makes sense that is what it means. It is not 11 minus 2n, but it is the product 2n subtract 11 from this, right? You end up with 23. So once you do that, what you get is 23. Do you see that? So that becomes a logical way of getting to something which we call an equation. So what you get here is called as an equation. So it was actually not a straightforward question, very complicated to begin with. But you see how logically we arrived at something which we call equation, mainly because we have an equal to sign here, numbers and some unknown numbers are there with us on one side, right? So 2n minus 11 is 23. So that is the equation which we need to solve, right? Now, uh, so this is the first step, writing an equation. Second is how do we solve it, right? Now, you could think in different way also. For example, you could also say, well, I am a number, so I'm writing in a different ink now. So number is n. And what you do is that you do times 2, right? And then once you do that, you do minus 11. And then once you do minus 11, what you get is 23, right? So this is all, correct? Now, if I have to get back what the number is, I could do the reverse. I can go backwards. Do you see that? I can go backwards. So this is another very important strategy to solve word problems. 
He said, now we are landed up with a number which is 23. How did we get that? We got that by subtracting 11. So when I go back, I will do reverse operation, right? So when we go back, we do reverse operation. So we'll reverse the operations, right? Okay, let's reverse the operation. That is to say, to go back, I'm going to add 11 to 23, right? So I have 23. So going back, I will add 11. So I get 34 here, okay? So now I say I am at 34, right? Now the next operation was that multiply by 2 means just reverse this operation. So what will I do? I will divide 35, 34 by 2. That is half of 34. I get 17. So I get my number which is 17. Do you see that? I got my number which is 17. So well, we did get a number which is 17. Can we check? Is it right? Well, did you understand all this, right? Okay. Uh, anyway, let's try to check, right? So, next step which we are going to do is to check if 17 is the right answer. Okay, great. So, let's begin with 17 now, right? So, I'm using another ink now to uh, let the number we got was 17, right? So, if I double the number, then I get what? 34, right? And then... From 34, if I take away 11, then I do get 23, correct? Oh, that works, right? So, we got 23, we wanted 23, so that is the correct answer. Do you see how simply we could actually solve this word problem? So, I hope you understand the strategy of solving word problems, correct? Breaking them down into simple sentences and then writing an equation. Okay, so that becomes... A bit clear to you perfect we have two more to go and i hope by the time we finish these three questions you will be an expert let's see question number two now question number two also begins by saying i am a number so let's say i am a number n add 13 to me that means i am going to add 13 to this number and then says divide the sum by four so Next step, I am going to divide this sum of n and 13 by 4. And it says, you end up with 8. So this time, what you end up with is, this is equal to 8. So those are the steps involved. Okay. Now, shall we do reverse calculation and figure out what do we get? So what we will do now is we'll start with the n. That is to say, we are at 8, right? So we'll reverse it, right? So... So, I'm starting with 8 and going backwards. And I'm saying, divide the sum by 4. So, what is the reverse of divide? Multiply, right? So, after dividing, we got 8, right? Now, we will multiply. So, we'll say 8 times 4 is 32, correct? And before that, what was it? It said before that, that it was add 13, add 13 to me. So, I'll subtract 13, right? So, I do 32 minus 13, right? So, when I do 12 take away 3 is 9 and 2 take away 1 is 19, right? So, we get the number 19. <laughs> you see that? So, we landed up with the number 19. Now, can we check if 19 is the right answer? So, let's try to check the answer, right? So, that is pre-algebra. We are not really using the equation to solve it. You get the idea. We are using the strategies to solve our question, right? We do derive at an equation. Perfect. Let's check. So, let's check with n, which we already have got as 19, right? So, I am a number 19. And what is 19 plus 13 equals to? Well, 19 plus 13 is equal to 3 plus 9 is 12, 1, 32. And when I divide 32 by 4, I do get 8. Perfect. So, you do get 8. And therefore, this is the right answer. Perfect. So, we again got the solution without even solving the equation, right? So, we have learned two things. Uh, from a word problem, how do we get to an equation? And how we can go reverse 
and get the answer, right? Because the starting number was unknown. We knew the last number, so we have to go backwards. Perfect. Let's take up the third question. Treat this as your practice question, correct? It's very similar to the first two. But see, what do we do in maths? We multiply, divide, add and subtract. Very simple operations, right? In these three examples, which I have taken with you, we are doing just the same thing, right? In addition, we are learning many other strategies. Perfect. So that is what we are going to teach you in our compact classes, which we call making best use of time, right? Understanding problem solving skills. Get ready for the Olympiad by different names. Basically, we're trying to improve our communication and problem solving skills. Perfect. Now here, last question for you. I am a number. So let's say N is the number. Subtract me from 30. That means from 30, I have to subtract the number. Do you see that? Subtract me from 30. Then says divide the difference. And this is called the difference, right? Divide the difference by 6. So 30 minus n was the difference. We are going to divide this by 6. You end up with 3. What you get is 3. You get the idea, right? So the number we end up with is 3, right? So you could also think like a, like a block, right? A diagram. We call it a flow chart. I am a number n. Next, what do we do? In this particular case, the next thing which you are doing is from 30, you subtract the number, right? So you do 30 minus n, correct? And then what do you do? Whatever you get, you have to divide this by 6, correct? So, so then you, I could also write, divide this by 6, correct? And then what do you get? You get the number 3, right? So that is the operation which you performed on the number. Now, can you tell me what was the number guessed? Okay, so we landed with 3. We landed with 3. So we'll go upwards. So now, instead of divide by 6, I am going to multiply by 6. That is the reverse operation, right? Which is 18, right? So this is the reverse operation, right? So the so reverse of division is multiplication, correct? Now, we have got 18. Now, 30 minus n. That is very tricky. So, so from 30, we actually remove this number to get our operation, right? So what is going to be the reverse operation? So on this number, should I add 30 or do what? That is what we have to think about, right? So, so 30 minus the number is 18. So what we are going to do is we are going to take from 30 the number back, right? Is that clear to you? So this is a very typical reverse operation. So we are actually taking out the number from, because we have to get the number, right? So 30 take away 18 gives me what? 12. So I get my number 12. Make sense? Okay. Let's look at it. So if I start with 12, from 12, if I do 30 minus 12, let's check the operation, right? So to check... What are we going to do? Well, we'll begin with 12 and then do 30 minus 12, right? 30 minus 12 is 18. And then we'll do 18 divided by 6. And we do get 3. Do you see how typical it is? Sometimes the reverse operation seems to be exactly same as the operation as in this particular case. You get the idea? Because negative of negative kind of has been done, which reverses and gives us a similar thing as we just saw. So these are very beautiful. Three examples, simple to explain you many different concepts. So I hope with this, you got some strategies to work with word problems. We are going to explore many more in our classes. I'd like you to join my classes and be an expert or at least lay a strong foundation for mathematics. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you want to learn from me, 
you can always send an email directly on this particular address. Thanks for your time and all the best.